<laughs> well, we've got to talk about this doctor in a viral video that was tweeted by the president and his son. Video of the doctor is named Stella Emanuel. She, uh, it was taken down by Twitter for spreading false information. She's a real doctor. Uh, and she said she had information about a cure for the coronavirus. So she's had some other controversial claims in the past, including that sex with demons in your dreams can cause medical issues and that alien DNA is currently being used in medicine. Now, Madonna also posted video of the doctor to Instagram, which was taken down by the site. In the post, Madonna called the doctor her hero. So the question is, is it dangerous to promote videos like this? And was it smart for Twitter to take it down? Lindsay, what do you think about this disinformation? I mean, I think we, the FDA has said they've taken that drug off of the emergency list for uses for COVID. Um, and I think people still were believing that it's useful and other tactics that are not helpful or useful. And so spreading that information, especially from somebody that's a licensed doctor, is um, really scary just because that's her opinion. She also said that, like you said, she believes they were testing on aliens. So it's okay to have out there opinions. But when you also have that stamp next to your name, I think it's scary because people are automatically, automatically going to take your word as law. Totally agree with you. I think um, her medical license might be up, to be super honest, with the board at the American Medical Association. What do you think, Al? You know, we just throw the term doctor around. Yes, she, she is a doctor, but we also have access to the number one person in their field, and that's Dr. Fauci. It's so interesting to me, uh, Lindsay and Tori, how we go after certain people in certain professions, but not others. He's a pandemic specialist. He's the number one in the world. He's dedicated 50 years of that. But yet everybody feels like they could nitpick and go at, well, what about this? What about this? But like, no one goes after the number one cardiologist. Right. Like if your cardiologist walked in and said, Tori, your husband just, did, he needs a bypass and you need to take this sugar pill. You would never question that. Right. You would never question that, but yet, when it's when, when it's a pandemic specialist and you read the internet now you're questioning that and it's just so interesting how we pick and choose like we go after climate scientists but we don't go after robot scientists right it's right. just like we or, pick or one or two people yeah it's right. just like so anybody else it, it's so it's weird to me politicized. that's the problem dr fauci here's why don't the, people go after breast cancer researchers why aren't they part of this big cover-up it's not politicized this is from dr keller who said this quote if a percentage of the population does not listen to data and avoids masks like she doesn't believe you need to wear masks, this doctor, and instead focuses on treatments that aren't proven, it's going to be a long, long time before we can all get she back. She just made herself $5 million on the speaking circuit. Yeah. I'll tell you that.